What's happening, man? It's James Vergado once again of God Love a Genius. The subject of today's video, man, is terms and conditions. I was thinking about this, man, when I was taking my walk this morning, and I was thinking about how um, all of us these days with smartphones and game consoles, it comes a point, man, where we get a message in order to continue dealing with the um, device that we have to accept the new terms and conditions um to continue its usage therefore you know most of us gonna click agree and for the most part um it's always a a long passage that we have to read but ain't nobody reading they just go ahead and click agree and i started thinking about uh when it comes to the relationships that we have with people on um, whether that's you know friendships or intimate relationships oftentimes we don't read the people the way we supposed to we don't read everything that comes with that person we don't accept the terms and conditions um and we don't realize what we accepting you know when we do accept it um and i think that's the reason why a lot of suffering occurs with you know relationships because we accept the terms and conditions unknowingly of what we're dealing with. We ain't reading people the way we're supposed to. Uh, a lot of divorces, a lot of separations and these, you know, marriages and parents who co-parenting with a child. Um, you just believe in what making you feel good at that at that moment. And you don't really know what you accepting because you're not reading that person in its entirety. It's just it's either the face card, it's the finances, it's the lifestyle, it's the sex, you know what I'm saying? It could potentially be emotionally the way that person makes you feel. They make you feel better than you ever felt in your life. But you're not thinking about the dark side of the person. You know what I'm saying? You're not accepting the red flags that's right there in your face. And you know it, you suspect it, but you don't dig into it because maybe if you read those terms and conditions, you're going to be like, you know what? As much as I enjoy... um. I don't know, let's say this 70% of this person, that 30% of, of, of the darkness that you got, it's it's 100% going to cause failure in our relationship. And I'm not going to accept the terms and agreements, you know what I'm saying? So therefore, I won't be able to continue playing with this device, which is that person. Um, And everybody's going to go through this, I believe. I believe everybody's going to have a relationship, even if it's in business. Like I said, this don't even have to be nothing intimate. It could be like when you do a business relationship with someone like, for example, I can speak for myself. You know, it's good to be transparent. So I'm a recording artist and I've often um, dealt with these recording engineers that just have this problem with being shysty with the time. Like they like playing with your time. Like it's and when I say playing with your time, meaning they like to get as much money without doing the work, you know, that they charging you for. They like to finesse you on studio time. Like, you know, playing around, doing something that shouldn't take a long time. They'll do that so they ain't gotta like, you know, do all the work, but you know, be like, oh yeah. Your hour up, you know what I'm saying? Or your two, three hours up, right? You gotta, we gotta come back next time. So, you know, they're trying to hustle you out of your studio time. So long story short, this engineer man I was recording with, I thought we had a great relationship. At one point, he, uh, um, I finished a little early in the studio and he didn't, he didn't even charge me the entire session. So I'm like, dang, that's real. You know what I'm saying? But another time, um, I, I was over there to like get him to mix a record down and the entire time I felt it in my spirit that he was going to finesse me and he ended up doing it. Like he ended up just throwing some mess together and I had told him in the beginning, like, Hey bro, don't, don't, don't be trying to like charge me all, you know, the, the price when you ain't going to be able to finish it. He ended up doing it anyway. And then I told him, I'm like, nah, dog, nah, that ain't right. You know what I'm saying? He was like, come back later that day. I come back and he gave me like half an hour, still just threw something together. Then he unfollowed me off Instagram. 
you know what I'm saying, after the fact, because he figured I was going to say something. But I just believe in the laws of, uh, uh, the law of attraction and, you know, what you put out, you get. So I'm like, all right, bro, I ain't even going to worry about it. A little couple hundred dollars, man, I done made that a couple times. You know, I'm going to let God deal with you. But I didn't accept the terms and conditions of knowing that that was in him. Because one time when I came to the studio, I beat him there and I was on time and he came a little late and I was like, hey, bro, uh, you ain't going to make this no habit, is it? You know what I'm saying? I'm joking. I'm thinking like, you know, we're going to joke around. He's going to say, you need me. And then he's going to say, uh, the studio, st the session start the moment I pull up in the parking lot. I should have known then. I ain't had no business fooling with bro no more because this is like, how do you talk to somebody like that who's supporting you? putting money in your pocket, you know, for a service. This is how you talk to your customer? Like, come on, bro. So I look past it because I enjoyed, you know, the studio environment, and it was one of the better studios I ever recorded in. But under those conditions, I had to deal with somebody that said, I'm going to treat you however I want to treat you because you need me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a under my... Under my terms and conditions, you know what I'm saying? This is how I feel about you, and this is how I'm going to treat you. And I accepted it because I kept paying, you know, for the service until, you know, I finally just said I had enough. So these are some of the things you have to keep in mind, man, when it comes to people, man. What are the terms and conditions that you're going to be dealing with? You know, like if you're going to if you're going to make a child with someone, you know, or you going to start a family, you got to think about the terms and conditions of them overall, the good, the bad, the ugly, the unknown, the things they don't talk about, the things that, you know, they need serious development in. Or are they going to even attempt to fix those things? Like these are some of the things you have to think about when you're dealing with a person in its entirety. You know what I'm saying? What are the terms and conditions of dealing with you? I was telling my homegirl earlier today. I was like, next time I'm like in a serious relationship, the first thing I'm going to ask the female was, I mean, the female, I'm going to ask her like, was you, what was, what was, was you conceived out of love? Like what was your parents intentional on making you? Because some people wasn't even born out of love. That was born on an accident. Like me. Like, I wasn't meant to be here. I w if my mom had known about me, you know what I'm saying? If she known, if she had known she was pregnant with me, you know, prior to it being too late, she would have aborted me. Like, she told me that. You know what I'm saying? And it's a lot of, it's a lot that come with something like that. Because my DNA, my existence wasn't even predicated on being intentional. I was an accident. You know what I'm saying? So just think about the terms and conditions that's going to come with me. You know what I mean? I wouldn't even meant to be here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm an honest person. I'm a transparent person. So I'll be honest with my partner, you know, and I tell her stuff like that. Like, you know, that's some stuff I got to deal with because it's like, you know, I really wasn't even supposed to be here. I was an accident. So, you know what I'm saying? This is just something that I wanted to put out there, man. Think about this, man. Next time you're in a relationship or someone you're dealing with, man, what are the terms and conditions? If you made this far to the video, man, I want to say thank you for watching, man. Please do me a favor, man. Subscribe to the Guy Love Virginia's YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell for more content like this. And as always, man, be God level. The genius is in you. I am James Vergato.